Stan Jabalisco here. I'd like to explain a concept in my book, Teach Yourself Electricity and Electronics. I believe this concept is discussed in all editions. I have the fifth edition, that's edition number five, before me right now. And I have the book open to chapter 21 on page 364, where figure 21-5 appears. And I am showing right now the second part of that illustration, figure 21-5b. The subject here is power supply filtering. And I will explain why it's easier to filter the output of a full wave rectifier circuit than it is to filter the output of a half wave rectifier circuit. This shows a half wave rectified signal or uh, maybe I should say half-wave rectified alternating current wave. I, I guess theoretically it is a signal. If you want to think of what comes out of your electrical outlet as a signal, particularly when you get jolted by, a, by it, if you happen to come into contact with it, it seems like a little more than a signal then. But, but anyway, le this is the rectified waveform, sine wave, the lower half is simply chopped off. Here's where the lower half would be, or the negative half. It's just chopped off. Now, we get this rough, raw, pulsating DC. That's what this output is called. Pulsating direct current. That is pulsating DC that we get out of a half wave rectifier it has a frequency of 60 Hertz and if you if you try to run an electronic device off of unfiltered pulsating direct current it's probably not going to work very well some devices might but most won't now suppose that you add a power supply filter the simplest way to do that is to co connect a large value electrolytic capacitor in parallel with the pulsating direct current output so that the capacitor will charge right here during each peak of the cycle. Then it discharges along like this. Discharges according to a linear curve in this uh, graph. That's somewhat of an oversimplification. Actually, it's a logarithmic decrement, but it I'm showing it li uh, linear here for simplicity. It gets down to a certain voltage that's a little bit lower than the uh, original peak voltage of the of the AC wave when it um, charged up. And then it charges up again at the next pulse like this. And this just happens over and over and over again. And you get this smoother but still not perfectly smooth direct current that's called ripple that kind of undulation in the direct current voltage this bouncing of this heavy black line this filtered waveform is called ripple and the power supply filter is sometimes therefore called a ripple filter If you want to get a more sophisticated ripple filter than just a uh, capacitor in parallel, you can connect a large value choke or coil in series in addition. And then multiple capacitors in parallel and coils in series gives you better and better filtering. But in any case, you get something like this. The better the filter, the less steep this slope and the less the ripple. Well, all right, that's just fine. Now. Let's suppose that we use the same filter, but now we have a full wave rectified waveform so that the positive pulses are left alone, the negative parts of the wave are inverted to get another positive pulse, so we get pulsating direct current with twice the frequency of what it was with the half wave circuit in the United States that would be 120 Hertz 
it would be 100 hertz in countries where the AC line frequency is 50 hertz. But in any case, suppose that we connect the very same filter now to this circuit as we did with the previous one. So we get uh, the slope of this part of the, of the direct current uh, result is the same as the slope was before. Well, as you can see, it gets a boost twice as often with this particular arrangement as it did with the half wave uh, circuit. So it, this line, this slope, this direct current output doesn't fall to quite as low a voltage each time before it gets a boost again. So the ripple is less. There is less of a fluctuation here using the same amount of capacitance or the exact same filter that we would have used before. So you get a better result with the same filter or you might turn that around and say you can use a cheaper filter and get away with it sometimes with a full wave uh, rectified supply whereas you couldn't get away with it with a half wave rectified supply. A, a circuit can only tolerate so much of this ripple before it starts to go haywire. The um, more sensitive the electronic device, the more uh, s the smoother you need this output to be, the better of a filter you need, the less ripple it will tolerate. But that is an explanation of why the output of a full wave rectifier is easier to filter than the output of a half wave rectifier, all other things being equal. Enjoy the book, Teach Yourself Electricity and Electronics. Any edition, I recommend the fifth edition. I have also made some videos that explain the answers to all of the final exam questions in this book and you can find that video on my web, uh, website sciencewriter.net just go down to the bottom and click on the link videos or you can uh, find the playlist that deals with this particular book teach yourself electricity and electronics fifth edition also I have posted quiz explanations on my website. The explanations for the answers to all of the chapter ending quizzes in this and several of my other books. Just go to the quiz explanations link once again at my website. Science Writer Not Debt Not Net Science Writer Dot Net Stan Gibalisco signing off.